Do you draft the best player available or according to your team needs? The Portland Trailblazers went with the second approach and made the greatest mistake in NBA draft history. After the Rockets picked Olajuwon with the number one pick in the 1984 draft, the Blazers were choosing between Sam Bowie and Michael Jordan. They went for Bowie, as they already had Clyde Drexler and Jim Paxson taking care of the perimeter. Chicago is eternally grateful. Sometimes that approach makes sense, especially if you're Portland and already have your guy in Clyde Drexler. You're not thinking about getting the best guy, you think you already have him. Portland was looking for someone to support Drexler's team. Well, you don't think about positional fit when a perennial all-star is available. And even at the time of the draft, a lot of people knew that Jordan would be more than that. Back in those days, there was no one and done. MJ spent three years playing for Dean Smith and made his mark on the college level. During his three seasons with the Tar Heels, Jordan averaged 17.7 .7 points a game on 54% shooting. MJ did more than collect stats. He made the game-winning jump shot in the 1982 NCAA championship game against Georgetown, which was led by future NBA rival Patrick Ewing. All that was enough for Coach Knight to make a bold statement before MJ ever set foot on an NBA court. The kid is just an absolutely uh, great kid. If I were going to pick uh, the three or four best athletes I've ever seen play basketball, he'd be one of them. I think he's the best athlete I've ever seen play basketball, bar none. If I were going to pick people with the best ability I'd ever seen play the game, he'd be one of them. If I were going to pick the best competitors, that I'd ever seen play. He'd be one of them. So in the categories of competitiveness, ability, uh, skill, and then uh, athletic ability, uh, he's the best athlete, he's one of the best competitors, he's one of the most skilled players. And, and that to me makes him the best basketball player that I've ever seen play. When Bobby Knight says something like that about a player and he's on the draft board, you select that player in a heartbeat. The Blazers weren't convinced, so they reached out to Knight and shared their personal concern with him. They needed a center, and Bob Knight made his position very clear. He told them, play him at center and he will be the best center in the league. Obviously, Michael Jordan can't play center, but Bobby Knight was so convinced that Michael Jordan is the best player ever to step on a basketball court, he would draft him first anytime in any draft. We need to address one more thing. Portland gets all the criticism for missing out on Jordan. But there's another team that should get at least equal grief for it that would be the Pacers of Indiana. They traded their number two pick to Portland and who do they want so much that they gave their chance away for MJ? Tom Owens, yet another center. Owens was so dominant in Indiana, averaging 10.5 points a game and five rebounds, that the Pacers traded him the very next summer for a second round pick. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe.